Hi, let's do another system test with the ADT Unimode 10UD fire alarm control panel. I put up some new alarms and let me show you them. This right here is a system sensor SCR ceiling mount remote strobe. Notice how you can see the word fire from all 360 degrees and how the strobe can flash in every direction. This alarm is meant to be mounted on the ceiling, which is pretty cool. I'll just get it back in here. There. And the panel just started beeping because I took the alarm off. Alright, coming right here is the horn strobe version of that. This is just a strobe, and this is a horn strobe. And its model is the System Sensor PC2R. And as you can see, this one is set on 1575 candela, which is the brightness of the strobe. What that basically means is if you look at it from the side, it's 15 candela. And if you look at the alarm directly, it's 75 candela. And same thing for this alarm. As you can see, I have it set on 1575 candela as well. Alright, going down here, we have a system sensor. I believe it's uh, 2WB. Yep, system sensor 2WB, 2-wire I3 smoke detector. These are, this is a very nice smoke detector, I have to say. I've seen it a lot in buildings, and it, it, it works well as far as I know of. Going down here, this is a Cerberus Pyrotronics MS-151 fire alarm pulse station. These aren't as common, but I still see them around, and it's a great pulse station. You'll see me pull it today. Right here, we have a Siemens HMS-S addressable fire alarm pulse station. Yes, this is addressable, but for this test, I converted it to conventional as this is a conventional fire alarm control panel. So I think we'll test some other stuff today too, but I'll show you the models and whatnot of those devices when I test them. So we're going to get started and we will pull the addressable one. Alright, here we go. Let the camera focus and this is going to be loud. This is the Spectre Alerts. Alright, I'm not wearing any ear pro. and that's on low volume. And these alarms are nice and they allow me to have audible silence even though there are two wire alarms, which is nice. <laughs> so as you can see, this pull station looks fairly similar to this one, but it's actually a completely different mechanism. Uh, basically, you can pull down on any part of the pull station, even the sides. You just have to pull it all down. So it's easy if you just put your hands right in here and just push it down. So we'll go ahead and do that in three. Two, one. That was zone two. As you can see, the strobes are still flashing. And one thing I like about this pull station is when you pull it, it says alarm. And that's very nice as it verifies to the person that pulled it that they pulled it correctly. The Firelight BG12 also does that. I think I have one right here, or at least a version of it. And basically when you pull it, it says activated. I really like that feature. I'll reset that later. This one, as you can see, you just pull it down and it doesn't say anything. I think they could have put like a word or something in there, like activated or alarm or something. Even right here with the Notifier NBG1, when you pull it, they could have put in some words or something that said alarm activated or something like that, just to help verify to the person that pulled it that they did it correctly. Okay, we can go ahead and test the System Sensor i3 smoke detector. So it's a smoke detector, so I think we will have to use some sort of fake smoke to test it. It does have a test button, but let's be honest, that's boring. So we'll use some fake smoke. This is Smoke Saber.
Okay, we can go ahead and reset the fire alarm pole stations. This one is extremely easy to reset, and this one isn't as easy to reset. So we'll go ahead and do the extremely easy one first. Boom, it's reset, that's all you needed. And that was just a little hex wrench. And this pole station, you have to stick in, and then turn it for a couple seconds, and then it automatically pops up because it's spring-loaded. This is the inside of it. There's the button that activates it. And then you have to turn it all the way back, which, again, takes a couple seconds. These are both good pull stations. Uh, I know it sounds like I like this one better, but the one thing I don't like about this one is how easily it could be activated. You could literally pull it just by doing that. And if this was put in a gym or really in a hallway, it would just take one object or debris to hit it the, the right way and for it to activate, ah, accidentally activate the entire system. So this one's nice because it has a little bit more of a barrier to pulling it. So as you can see right there, I did replace the Gentex Commander with a system sensor MHW white mini horn and that is right next to the Tectone quarter light and I think it's a good little medical alert setup so you know you've seen these they're little pull cords you can find them in nursing rooms and whatnot basically if someone slips and falls or they need immediate assistance you can pull it so we'll go ahead and do that and the quarter light will turn on and the alarm will sound so here we go That's loud, isn't it? And it kind of sounds like a smoke alarm. I also do have it wired in so that it works with this blue medical pole station too. Let's go ahead and demonstrate it. All right, everyone, that is plenty of testing today. As you can see right here, I have a big collection of alarms and different equipment, security and whatnot. So if anybody has any video requests or any alarms they'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. And if a lot of people want to see one kind of video or a pair of alarms, then I will probably do that. So have a great day, everyone.